The consistent focus of our work has really been on the marine algae and cyanobacteria. I've just always been interested in those life forms in their ecology, their biochemistry, and their chemistry. Well, Bill's area of interest is exploring the biomedical potential and resources of the world's oceans. And in particular, he's interested in one group of marine organisms called the cyanobacteria. And these are uh, a very chemically unique, very prolific source of highly biologically active compounds. And these are quite interesting organisms that are both single-celled and live in the open ocean, and they also form large, complex masses that live in shallow waters, in coral reefs, and they live in, in mangroves and areas like that. So for at least the last 15 years, Bill has focused on this and developed a robust program to discover and develop agents from these cyanobacteria that will be useful in the treatment of cancer and potentially infectious diseases and also inflammatory diseases. We uh, collect organisms from around the world. We bring them back here to Scripps. We uh, make extracts. We also culture these in the culture laboratory and uh, then we test those extracts for anti-cancer activity, anti-inflammatory activity, uh, the ability to treat parasitic diseases like malaria. So a variety of different biological uh, activities are tested. And then when we find a, one that's very active and interesting to us, we uh, follow up like molecular detectives and try and figure out what is the active compound in that extract. I would characterize him as a collaborator with excellent skills, with the ability to compromise, with the ability to see the importance of not only his work, but the work of others, and to really, in a quite an exceptional professional way, to, to interact with others so that there is a productive endpoint. I knew I was on to something very, very exciting, and so, uh, and, and shared that with my family, and they kind of forgave me the fact that I was largely in the lab that Christmas break. But uh, at the end of that, I came up with this new molecular structure, one we called uh, Curacin A. Uh, it was actually isolated from a cyanobacterium from Curacao. Uh, so we named it after the country of origin, uh, but also we hope it might cure something. There was a, uh, an excitement. We were looking now at a new molecular structure that could ultimately end up uh, you know, treating cancer in, in, in human patients. That, that's a thrilling moment. This new compound that we've isolated from actually several collections in the Pacific has a phenomenal ability to kill cancer cells. Uh, it's more potent than uh, many known compounds in their, its ability to kill cancer cells. And it does so by a new mechanism. It's not fully described what the mechanism is yet, but we're working on that. Without a doubt, Bill's work is of such high quality, of such diversity of subject areas being combined to provide really groundbreaking discoveries that there's no question that he's recognized internationally and nationally as the leading scientist in his field. I truly think that there's a few of our molecules that could actually go the distance, uh, become uh, 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 pharmaceutical agents. I, I'm particularly uh, excited about some of our compounds in the cancer area. We've also worked with the Morse Cancer Center here at UCSD on one of our projects, and I think that one has a lot of potential as well. So I'm hoping that uh, we're going to see a compound go into the clinic and actually treat a human disease at some point.